I also made up another batch of chocolate. It's the same. Now the white summer coating and the colored summer coating discs, um, you use very little carrot syrup. The chocolate, you're going to use a little bit more of the corn syrup to, to this because this does get very hard. Okay, so when I do a pound of this, I use a third of a cup to one pound. Okay, let's color some of this up. If you don't want to make any chocolate, chocolate clay, you can actually color this yourself. So what I can do is I can take a little bit of this and some brown food coloring. It colors very easily. Let me grab a little. Put some brown food coloring in it. This is just the gel, the Americolor gel. And I'm going to get brown all over my hands, but that's okay. And you can just color it up to look chocolate colored. And you don't have to make two batches. But I use this a lot, so I always have chocolate on hand. This keeps, you wrap it up and it keeps for a long, long time. I believe this is about two months old. And I just keep it wrapped, sealed in a Ziploc baggie. Okay. And then I can continue adding more brown to it, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Here's my red. This is my super red, and I'm going to have a pink poinsettia. So I'm just going to put a little tiny, this takes color really well. So we're going to start out with just a little bit of color. It's just a dot. And see how that colors. Since this is, we want a light pink. Red, red doesn't fade like pink does. So if I actually used a pink food color, and they tend to fade a little bit more than the red. So let's see how this comes out. It's a little light. So I think we're going to add just a teeny bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay. Doesn't take much. And they'll end up with a nice light pink. This is how I do all my pinks. Until I find a pink that doesn't fade. Okay. Just knead it up. There we go. It's a nice light pink. Okay. Now I can roll this out or I can use the pasta machine. I know I didn't show you the pasta machine earlier um, because you really don't have to have one. But when I work with chocolate clay, I do um, have warm hands and it does tend to melt just a little bit. It's chocolate. So um, I'll tend to use the pasta machine so I don't handle it so much. Okay, I'm going to just roll this flat a little bit and then put it through the pasta machine. I've got this on the thickest setting for my machine. The thickest setting is a 7. I'm just going to roll a little bit of it. Let's take some of this off. I'm going to put a little bit of, I don't want it to stick, it's a little sticky. So I'll put a little bit of cornstarch on it so it won't stick. And roll it through. Okay. And then down again, thinner. Oops. I think that's plenty thin. Oh, got a little bit of cornstarch on it. That's okay. And then now what I want to do is I'm actually going to use my cutters to cut it out. I have the three smallest petals for the poinsettia here. Let's see. There they are. I'm going to cut seven of the largest, five of the medium, and five of the smallest. 